Emergency services have been standing guard at Loafers Lodge in Wellington overnight. At least six people have died after the blaze at the hostel in the early hours of yesterday morning. Another 11 remain unaccounted for. Police expect to enter the lodge sometime today. Fire and emergency are treating the fire as suspicious, but police say they don't believe it was deliberately lit. One person remains in a stable condition in Hutt Hospital. Fire and Emergency Assistant National Commander Bruce Stubbs says he can't yet answer whether any fire alarms went off. Uh, so we're checking that now. Uh, we've been checking that to, to ensure uh, the, the, um, the sequence of events uh, with, with our own uh, alarm monitoring companies. Corrections has confirmed nine people on a community sentence or order were living at the address. Seven have been accounted for. Wellington City Council says the lodge had a building warrant of fitness issued this March and no concerns were raised. News Talk ZB's Nick James is on Adelaide Road in Newtown. He told Kate Hawksby emergency services remain at the scene. It's incredibly quiet this morning with just three police cars and a fire truck in front of the Opus Lodge building. Meanwhile, Chief Coroner Anna Tutton says the bodies of the victims are in the legal custody of the coroner but have yet to be recovered. She says they'll be treated with dignity and respect and where known, specific cultural needs will be met. And Wellington City Missioner Murray Etteridge says it was tragic to see the building engulfed in flames. A number of the people we were helping were based there and that was their home and, and for many of them had been for some time. Those people have suffered some quite significant trauma. The charity has been able to provide phones to a number of victims, allowing them to contact loved ones. Etteridge is urging people to donate to the Merrill Relief Fund if possible, saying the people they're helping out have far less than most of us have. Sack them all and install commissioners. This is one local government expert's solution to the Gore stalemate. A vote of no confidence in Mayor Ben Bell wasn't taken up at yesterday's emergency meeting. An independent review and mediation will address the broken relationship between Bell and the council's chief executive, Stephen Parry. But Curtin University's local government academic, Dr Andy Asquith, says it's disappointing the local government minister is standing back. If you continue what you've got now, then all the is the council becomes increasingly inwardly focused and the good citizens of God just get ignored and forgotten. In Auckland, armed police have surrounded a home on Eric Gifford Drive in Ranui where they negotiate with a person who has barricaded themselves inside. And officers are also standing guard outside the Z petrol station on Sandringham Road following an incident about 10pm. Concern the role of police in dawn raid style tactics from Immigration New Zealand isn't being investigated. The terms of reference for an independent inquiry into out of hours compliance checks by immigration officers have been released. The Pacific community has voiced frustration over reports the agency has had 18 interactions between 9 pm and 7 am in 10 months. Social justice advocate Josiah Tuala Mali'i says the review seems solely focused on immigration staff. He says allegedly police who attended these incidences were just in the area and came along as if it's a happy joyride. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.